John Wilson here with a tip on finding uh, joint venture funding. Uh, PIB subscriber Andrew is wanting to do a refurbishment project um, and get joint venture partners involved, each uh, contributing some, some cash towards the deal. And he's wondering how much uh, everyone should get paid in relation to each other and to him. This is a common question when doing joint ventures and the answer really boils down to two factors. The first factor is supply and demand. If you have loads of people who want to get involved in the deal, then you're obviously going to find it easier and uh, you'll be able to charge more and you'll be able to take more of the profits and give your, your investors less. Whereas if you are having trouble uh, attracting investors, then you're going to have to sweeten the deal for them and take a bit less yourself. The second is, is really just your comfort factor. If you have done this a lot before, then you'll feel a lot more comfortable, obviously, about taking more for yourself and people will know that you've got a track record as well. If this was my first deal, then I'd be tempted to take the same return as the investors or possibly even a bit less. Uh, but do make sure that you get paid for the work that you do on it if you're doing any of the joinery or the, the, the refurbishment yourself. But obviously make it clear that you're doing that at a, at a good price. So I hope that helps, Andrew. I'm John Wilson and this is PropertyInvestmentBlueprint.com. Visit PropertyInvestmentBlueprint.com now for free ebooks, videos and tools.